Hey everyone, this is John Wood with On The Fly Jack Plates here again. And uh, today we are going to be showing you guys how to change your manual On The Fly Jack Plate into an electric On The Fly Jack Plate. Um, and we are going to be showing you guys how to install it and everything that comes with it and everything that you'll need. So uh, first, the things that come with it is the installation manual and it'll tell you everything that you need on there. And um, then it comes with the electric actuator the uh, two bolts, the spacers, 10 feet of wiring, the relay harness, fuses, quick connectors, and um, everything that you'll need to actually mount it and go. Um, it also comes with the up-down switch as well. So uh, now we will go ahead and get started um, talking about the things that you'll need. Um, so you will need a drill, an impact drill, or a uh, hand turn um, Allen key and a 5 16 inch drill bit and the Allen key is 3 16 um, that you will need to take the bolts off the actual jack plate. So uh, now we will go ahead and get into uh, the first steps of changing your manual into an electric. Alright, step one would be to take off the engine um, and step two will be to take out the manual jack. And to take out the manual jack, of course, um, you'll just unscrew these bolts and slide them right out. Take the plate out. Then you're gonna wanna take out this bottom bolt. Catch these spacers. Now you'll go ahead and set this aside. Alrighty, so the next step will be to take off these top and bottom C channel mounting brackets. So you'll get your impact drill and you'll just start taking these bolts off. Oh stuck. Alrighty, now that we have the top mounting bracket off, now we're going to focus on the bottom mounting bracket. And with the bottom mounting bracket, since there's the bar right here, um, I like to use the uh, manual um, Allen key. And um, what you'll do is you'll just start by taking out these bolts as well. Now sometimes if these are extremely tight, you are going to want to use um, your impact drill because sometimes in a salt water environment, what can happen is these can um, have like oxidation on it and they will get really tight. And the thing you don't want to do is strip these out to where you can't get this off anymore. Um, so you definitely want to be gentle with it and careful um, so you do not strip these out. So we'll go ahead and finish taking out these bolts. Alrighty, now that we have both of the C-channel mounting brackets off the uh, jack plate, we are going to put them inside of a vise or something very sturdy to where you don't have to hold these and drill them out, because that is not what we want you to be doing. Um, so we have our 5 16 inch drill bit here. We have these tightened down on the vise, and now we're going to start drilling out. this side finished, we're going to go ahead and turn these around and finish the other side up. Alrighty, so now 
now that we've finished drilling out these holes, if you have any type of burrs or anything on the inside, you can just take a piece of sandpaper and just kind of smooth them up and get those burrs off. So just to kind of recap on why we drilled the quarter inch holes out into 5 16th inches hole, um, is because the new bolts that come with the conversion kit are 5 16th inches round. Um, and that is exactly why we did that. So, um, and before you go back to mount these back to the jack plate, um, you're going to want to make sure that the top one is with the motor slide and the bottom one is with the bottom bracket on the actual jack plate. And to tell, the bottom one has just a little bit more space from the edge of the uh, C-channel to where the hole is, and the top mounting bracket has a little bit less space from the hole to the edge of the C-channel mounting bracket. And uh, that is how you are going to tell. Um, so now we will go ahead and start mounting these back to the motor slide and the bottom mounting bracket on the jack plate. Alrighty, so now that we have the uh, bottom mounting bracket mounted, we're going to go ahead and install the electric actuator. So to start installing the electric actuator, what you're going to do first is you're going to have two of the spacers. You're going to put the bolt through first, then two of the spacers. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have the motor in the upright position. You're going to feed this through again. And you're going to put these, the second set of spacers in there. And then you'll go ahead, put this nut on, and tighten it down. Now that we have the bottom part of the actuator mounted, it is now time to mount the top part of the actuator. So we're going to start out by putting the motor slide plate back in the grooves. We're going to thread the bolt with the two spacers down beneath it. We're going to push it through. And get the other two spacers, place them in here. And then you will go ahead and tighten this bolt up. Alrighty, now that we have the electric actuator installed into the jack plate, this part is done. Now um, it is time to start running your wires through your boat. So like I said before, um, when you're running your wires through your boat, you can disconnect these quick connects and once you have all your wires ran through your boat um, you can go ahead and connect them back and whichever two of the wires have the blue zip ties on them those are the ones that you're going to quick connect back together and then as for the second one as well so once you have these connected then it's time to um, hook the terminals up to the battery so this is your fuse holder it comes with a fuse inside already and the fuse holder will go with the red wire terminal on the relay harness 
this will go to your positive terminal and then the black wire will go to your negative terminal. Once you have that tightened down, everything is ready to go. Now, um, since the, um, the, all the wires came with a uh, small elastic um, Velcro band, um, what I like to do on my personal boats is just Velcro it to the tiller handle. Um, so you can, I'm acting as if this were my tiller handle, and you can just Velcro it straight there so it's easy access. Um, if you do not have a tiller handle and you have a remote steer boat, um, you do not have to use the Velcro strap. Um, the up-down switch actually has uh, pre-drilled holes so you can throw a bolt through there and mount it to your transom or the side of your boat um, or wherever you want to mount it. Um, once you have that done, you are ready to get out on the water and uh, enjoy your time. Thank you guys so much for watching the install video of our electric conversion kit and we'll catch you next time.